Hi there, it's Mylar Maladies. We're here at Gear for Music Synth and Tech, joined by Tom, Hello. who has come to show us a brand new road product. I have indeed. What is it? Super top secret new road product. We have road microphones, we but. We do, road microphones. Whoa. Oh, dun, dun, my dun, dun. goodness. Dun, 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 dun. Road have made a pair of headphones. They yeah. have indeed. These are the NTH 100s, Rhodes first headphones. Please tell me what they have done here. Uh, what are we looking at? They've gone done made headphones. Um, <laughs> they've gone done made them. Uh, in classic road style, uh, the guys have made a really fantastically, beautifully engineered pair of headphones. Sound great, look great, feel great, uh, and have a lot of mod cons. And they have a very, very flat frequency response um, and loads of customization options. Oh my goodness. It? So these are basically like producers' headphones, but obviously you can listen to music on them. Yes. By which I mean like they're not, they're also fun to listen to, I assume. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's like, I was having a very quick listen. So we've got my Pioneer XDP100. Uh, I think it's an XDP100, which is a sort of audio player. So obviously this is not a review, of course, but I had a quick listen. I mean, to me, I'm really used to Sennheiser HD 650s. Mm -hmm. And like that, um, I've got them, HD 25s. I've had um, Bayer Dynamic uh, DT 880s in the past as well. I've used 770 Pros, I think, here as well. So I've kind of mm. fairly familiar with them. And it, to me personally, I mean, they just sounded very kind of what I expected. Yeah. And that's from being a HD 650 user. Yeah. You know, it's kind of that sort of wheelhouse of mm. product if that makes sense maybe you could talk about what the, yeah, the sort of so drive I mean, and also the sort of there's little I'll interesting go the, uh, gadgets i'll that give are you the pitch please i'll, I'll give please. you the pitch <laughs> yeah. so um just getting back to the the headphones you compared them to so the kind of um the engineering uh the kind of design the uh, road of comfort is the isolation of and the bass response of a closed back, but the sort of like detail and kind of nuance of open yes so it's sort okay. of like this kind of semi hybrid kind of approach um and the way they've sort of done this is through like meticulous tuning and careful um uh, choice of components so custom match drivers etc etc do they make these themselves yes because they the whole thing with road as i'm my familiar with it is they make everything or, they do indeed you know, within like everything that can be made in australia basically so yeah it is can be is yes <laughs> you know so these go under like super strenuous uh, tests when they're being manufactured. Um, the kind of matching process for the drivers is very stringent. You know, any sort of uh, percentage of um, failure is just not tolerated with mm. these. Uh, they measure like really, really beautifully. But to give you the pitch, okay, so I'll go for the mod cons because in kind of classic road style, and, and they have a, a kind of tendency to do this, they go, but people get the things in their hands and they go, why, have, why has no one thought of this before? You know, like uh, the, the the new video might go to with the, the USB on there and all of those kinds of things mm, that they're very well, like wireless yeah. go, all of these things, you're like, Doi. yeah, you know, no one's thought of that before. So like the first thing I thought was the L and R on the inside of the ear cups. Because me being a klutz, oh, yeah. I, I literally every yeah. single time I put on my headphones, yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. So uh, a couple of ways you can identify that. So you've got the red clip, yeah, for right. You've also got braille. Nice, quite cool. Yeah. So, uh, the next cool feature uh, is the Fitlock locking headband. So, so let's see this. Hopefully, you can see this. So you've got like a little a doofer, and this locks in the headphone once it's like here, basically. Yeah. So. Um, Chuck a mirror sex. So, like, the, the thing I always find with all of my my headphones, you know, you'll get them on your head, you kind of set them, you put them down to do something else, like change your drum machine or whatever you're doing, you go back in, it's like, yeah. you know, they're kind of squished. I have, so I have a toddler just, as well, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> I can get adjusted. So you basically, you unlock them, put them on your head, and then you lock them, and yeah. then they're set. And that's now locked to so my you, head. You've got a bigger <laughs> you've head. You've got to unlock them. them. You put them on and you tighten them. Yep. I'm starting to feel this kind of like pleasing minty coolness on my ears. <laughs> what is what am pleasing. I? What is this? So what pleasing minty coolness. So that's the other uh, the other mod con. So the orientation is really cool. Fitlock locking headband, um, and then just to get onto the ear cups. So the ear cups are really really special. Um, one thing um, people <laughs> notice as soon as they put these on the head, they go, "Jesus Christ, they're comfortable. They're nice." And they go, "Oh, they're cold." Um, the reason for that is uh, inside of these memory foam ear cups is active cooling gel. So I don't know if you wear headphones for particularly long periods. Yes. You get the old sweaty ear 
um, yes. these sort of uh, they just stop it. You know, they I like can wear these for fit hours. Your and head. Hours. The other thing is because I've got glasses. That's like a perennial issue: is wearing glasses and getting that kind of pressure on my my temples. Mm. Yeah. Sides of my head. So they sort of fit around that. Yeah. The memory it, foam helps with that. It's like a memory foam pillow. It's yeah. kind of squishy and it's molded to my ears. Well, it also helps with the isolation as well. Yeah. yeah. Which means you also don't need to turn it up as loud. Absolutely. I can hear you, but I mean, it is... Much, it's it's, uh, it's passive attenuation. Obviously. Before I was, we were filming this, I was listening to music while people were setting up and it's like, I was in my own world. Yeah. You know, very happily. Yeah. Um, but it's comfortable. Yeah. Like, obviously, you have to tell me if it's... Over a long period, but like that feels nice. Yeah, it feels they they feel great. That they is, also they warm up. They don't they do stay warm up, cool, like, but they don't. Yeah, they don't stay the cool. But they just stay. <laughs> the minty freshness dissipates. Okay, good. But um, it, it does it does really make a difference. So I've gone back to other headphones since owning these, and I I don't know. I think I just get sweaty here quicker now. My ears <laughs> wow. are like totally used to these, and it is a really big factor, especially you know if you're doing like long mixing sessions and you're dedicating your work to mm. headphones. You you're not having to do the old. Pull it off, you yeah. Know, it's it's uh, it, it, it really really comfortable. Yeah, they feel really, comfy. Really comfortable. So you've got the same tech in the headband as well. The 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 fabric that they're coated in is called Alcantara, which is uh, a fabric that you find in like high end sports cars. Oh wow! <laughs> Oddly enough, <laughs> yeah. Also, the ear cups have got like really good swivel to them. So that's a, a thing you find in certain pairs of headphones. They don't got the swivel. Yeah, yeah. These have got the swivel. Uh, and the ear cups are uh, kind of ergonomically designed. So you can see. Yeah, and it kind of fits your ear perfectly. You know, it's it's ear shaped. Yeah. You know, you've not got too much room for your for your ears to kind of move around in in, in a good way. They're they're very snug. Uh, but the ear cups are quite deep, so you can kind of fit sort of anything in there. And then the other sort of uh, unique little selling point, which I personally love because I like to rewire my studio quite a bit. Locking headphone connector. Okay. And you can swap if I could get this on little grommet. On either grommet. side. Yeah. Very nice. So if you're, you know, your audio interface is on your left and you've moved your studio around and yeah. it's now on your right and you need to reorientate your headphones, if I could get that out, which I think Well, I'm kind of glad it doesn't fall out, but <laughs> yeah, 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 I know exactly what you mean. I have a Herman Miller chair and it's like, I always get my cable like yeah. that because yeah. it is on the right. And well, my it, interface It depends is on the what left. I'm doing as well. I mean, if I'm in my studio, I'm on my keyboards, yeah. I orientate on the left. Yeah. And then if I've moved to do mixing, I orientate on the right. It's it's it, when you get used to it, you're like, why is no one again? Mm. Why has no one thought of that before? Um, those, those Australian guys with the clever, clever, ideas. clever ways, clever, clever guys. Because there's detachable cables, there's also mm -hmm. customizable cables. Uh, four of which this is fun. We have on the These table. Don't come with it, I guess. You, they do not. So, uh, just to explain your... what you get in the package, you get uh, four different coloured clips. So these little clips here, and then you know if you want a blue clip. You can put a bit, pop a blue clip on. So you get four different colours of clips with the headphones. So particularly useful. Um, this is a system that Rode have run out across several of their say, products. So wireless. Thinking of what you're going to say here. This is uh, a roadcaster type. Yeah, roadcaster type thing. So if you have got four guests and four set, uh, sets of headphones, they uh, they make like the colours clip, uh, the XLR IDs, uh, all that kind of stuff. Are like um, uh, what's the colour coded identifiers, yeah. and that's followed through uh, into the NCH 100s as well. Beautiful thing about that is uh, you can mix and match them. So I've got my uh, oh. mutable instruments. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. I see what you <laughs> kind of uh, color scheme there, which is pink cable, green pink, clips, green Hot clip. Pink. Very nice. Oh, love it. Um, but uh, absolutely, I'm on board. Yeah. So they come with a 1.2 meter black cable in yeah. the box. They also come with this rather fetching uh, little carry pouch. It's very nice. So you get a 2.4 meter black cable with them. You get the colored clips, and you get a bigulator. To turn your little uh, into a big. The ambigulator. The ambigulator. With a uh, locking connector. Yep, right? locking connector as well. Uh, don't steal that. I know where that came from. I've got loads, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got more of these than anything else. <laughs> um, and there's uh, four different color cables uh, on release uh, in two different lengths. So these are the 2.4 meter cables. There's also 1.2 meter cables. Oh, nice. Uh, so again, if you've got these on your head, well, you know, I have this. And and you I know, do... you've got your, like, your PlayStation controller. Yeah. You don't want yeah, a yeah. sprawling, super long cable. Steam Deck to come. I'm excited about that. So oh, I'm wondering if you can install Ableton Live on it. You could definitely install Bitwig on it because it's Linux. Oh, God. That's Bit of an aside there, not really. Anyway. But, but I will be using headphones with it. So. Yeah, these ones. Yeah, and it's the idea of not having like a Hulk and long cable, like yeah. a three meter cable. I mean, yeah, the, the longer ones are great for in the studio if you're walking around, that kind of stuff. Or also, the, the Rode VC1 is 
possibly like a sort of sleeper hit product as far as I'm concerned. That's like the mega extension cable. Like, Super cool. I have lots of them for my modular synthesizers. Yeah. Well, if you need to get to like another house. <laughs> yes. <Just laughs> I need to send this LFO different. to another house. Good as me, goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, great. So they're, um, I mean, they're acoustically, they're tuned incredibly flat. Um, yeah. So um, on release, the, the frequency graphs will be made available. So yeah. you can have a look at those. Um, Do you and, have a frequency response and a plus and minus? Do we know that yet? Not off the top of my head. Okay, check the site. <laughs> check the site. Yeah. It will be available on launch. Cool. Uh, launching on the 28th of March, I should say. Um, and stock will be available from Gear for Music on launch. Da -da. Yeah, they sound fantastic. Uh, I urge everyone to put them on your head. Because uh, as soon as you it's do... the best place to put them, I uh, Well, that, that's, that's the thing. As soon as you put them on your head, you, you get it. Yeah, yeah. Get it straight away. They're, they're super comfortable. They sound fantastic. And they're like super robust and good. And you can get a pink cable. <laughs> what more does a person need? <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Very little. Nothing else. Tom, thank you so much for showing me your shiny new headphones. My pleasure. Thank you. Yes, check the link out. There'll be links below. Any questions, please ask, obviously, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks very much, Tom. See you next time. Bye.